But we were convinced that this approach, you know, a systematic science-based liquid alternative investment with a with an underlying hypothesis we'll come back to to make this point but but you know that this approach as a diversifier in institutional investors portfolio was an you know was a sitting opportunity and it was totally underexploited in those days nikita at ahl if i had picked up the phone and tried to get a meeting with with calpers they would have laughed the cta industry was a retail business um and we were convinced that it w- we were missing an, an incredible opportunity and that this really it, w- it needed to be in, in, in institutional investors portfolios so in fact anthony todd who was a a, a friend of uh, first michaels and and then mine at oxford anthony had uh, you know he left oxford and worked in the, in the bond markets he went to business school he worked as a management consultant and then he joined us at ahl what, to to lead that effort to tap into, you know, an institutional investor. We were so persuaded that this was the way forward. But that immediately met resistance from our parent because they had such a, you know, a lucrative retail business that they had very little interest in, you know, using capacity at what, you know, institutional fees because why why should we? So the genesis of of aspect was to bring that methodology, to bring that approach, those trading ideas, that um, systematic set of strategies to an institutional audience. And that meant that, um, you know, we started writing the business plan early on in, where are we now? In 1997, uh, we formed the business. We went out looking for uh, investment and seed capital, and we started running money in, in 1998. And we didn't run a dollar of, of client money until we had, you know, we'd rewritten, uh, we'd written the models completely from scratch. We had a dis- disaster recovery facility. We had a 24-hour-a-day trading facility. You know, th- we knew that we had to have an institutional level of due diligence before we could present ourselves, um, you know, with this this business plan. Again, many CTAs in in those days was you know one individual and and a Bloomberg screen. So this felt fairly fairly revolutionary for our for our industry. And the other key tenet there, Nikita, was transparency, because in a retail space you could dress this up and we did you could dress it up as magic as legendary trading going on underneath the the covers and uh, you know if i explain to you how it works i'll have to kill you and you can imagine that no institutional investor in their right mind is going to is going to go for that so we absolutely predicated the business on building a relationship with our investors and explaining to them what were the underlying drivers of our, of our models and of our approach. When did we expect it to work? When did we expect it not to work? Um, And what utility it provided for their portfolios. And that's been central all the way through. That's been axiomatic in making that point about no uh, institutional investor in their right mind should invest in something they don't understand in starting aspect we we had a, an investment from RMF, which was then a, a very successful fund of funds based in Switzerland, run by a, a charismatic individual, Reiner Mark Fry, and Reiner introduced us to a uh, to Swiss Life, the uh, investment group at Swiss Life, who became our seed lead seed investor, and um, and it really was a good case in point. This individual was successful in his role in very large part because he had refused to invest with Meriwether, with LTCM. You know, his colleagues in Swiss Life said, are you crazy? These are the these are the smartest people on Wall Street. We have to do this. And he said, if I don't understand what they're doing, I'm not going to invest in it. And, you know, that it turned out that he was the hero. So when he met us, we walked him through what we had in mind, how our strategies worked. He said, I'm, I'm there. Uh, and we, we set off Aspect, as I say, launched the firm, launched our first fund in, in, in 1998 um, with uh, $20 million of, of seed capital. You could do that in those days.